how to communicate between local script and server script. Requirements. You have to know what is local script and you have to know what is server script. If you do not know what these mean, then go back and watch my previous videos. In this lesson, you will learn how to create and import remote events. You will learn how to call fire server function and what it does. And finally, you will learn on server event. So I have here a Roblox Studio and previously I created a button and you can click on this button and it will print out hello world. This is a local script. Start button script is a local script and we know that it is a local script by this icon. And we also can see that this is a local script by the class name in the properties window. Let's create a server script in my workspace. So I will create a server script inside of this Jeff model. Jeff is this guy, this monster. I like to rename them and I will call it Jeff script. So the goal is that if a user clicks on this button, it will print out hello world inside of this Jeff script. Right now, this local script and server script are not able to communicate with each other. So how we do it? In Roblox, there is a remote event. And basically remote event is designed to provide a one-way message between server and clients. And we are going to use this. So let's go back to Roblox Studio and read, let's create a remote event. I will create a remote event inside of replicated storage. I have a remote event here. And like always, I like to rename them and I will call it a start remote event. And I call it start because the button name is start. So the next thing what you need to do is that you need to import this remote event. And you can always check the official documentation down here. They have a lot of examples. For example, here is an example for remote event client to server. And that is exactly what we need. So I will just copy paste this. And I will go back to my Roblox Studio and I paste it here. I will rename a few things. For example, this is here create part event, but our event is named start remote event. So I will rename it start remote event. So, and I will also rename the variable name and I will rename it start remote event and if you go back to the documentation you can see that they are using fire server function and if you scroll up here we can search for it fire server here is a documentation what this function does basically it's a function and we can pass as many arguments inside of it as we wish. So let's do this. So I take this start remote event. I will paste it inside of my previous code. This is handle activated. This is called when a user clicks on a button. So let's do it. I will put here fire server and I will put here an argument that we can later 
identify that this came from a local script. I am local script. Here we go. Now, only thing that we still need to do is that we need to listen for this event inside of our chef script, that is server script. And if we go back to the official documentation, we scroll down here, we can see that they are using on server event. So let's do the same thing. So here we take the start remote event on server event and we have to connect to some handler function and I call it handle start event. Now I need to define the function and I will define it function handle start event. Uh, I have a new keyboard and I don't know how to type with this new keyboard. All right. So here we have, I will use print. And here we have arguments, argument one, argument two. And I will print both of them out. Print, I am Jeff script argument one argument two so now when we click play everything should work let's see if it is working so if i click on this button we can see i am jeff and real goat Godzilla and I am local script. Basically the first argument is the player. If you look here on the official page, you can search for it on server event. And you can see that the first argument is a player and the second argument is a list of or a tuple of arguments. So here you go. Now you can communicate between local script and server script. Thanks for watching.